Snapchat AI has been a big topic of conversation lately. People aren't big fans of it. Now, are you guys Snapchat users? I am a Snapchat user. I don't use it very much. You, Ethan? Not, not, not a fan. Good luck <laughs> with that. I just texted the AI for a little inspirational message before the show started to get, you know, the nerves out. It told me to believe in myself, but it also, <laughs> thanks, Dalen, uh, but it also wrote a script on AI. It can do a lot of different things, but people aren't liking how prominent it is it is on the Snapchat. I can't believe this. You know, we, we've been talking about this a little bit, Ariana and I, and she asked it to write an essay for her, and it did. Yeah. A whole essay that you can copy and paste. Yes, it's powered by ChatGBT, which is a big thing with colleges right now. They're like, if you're caught using it, Bye bye. But, but now it's even it's right. taking someone else's work. Exactly. It's not yours. But it's even easier to access now that it's on your phone on Snapchat. College kids are all over Snapchat. Competence is still obvious, I believe. I'm confident of that. Colleges will adapt to this. You'll get writing assignments oh, yeah. in classes and not not that you just hand in, and yeah. you can tell whether someone wrote a paper or whether a computer program. Yeah, I mean, especially with all those plagiarism checkers they have to go through, but it's not supposed to help you cheat. That's the thing. It's they've try to power it so it's avoiding those political questions, those topics like that, but it'll still do things like essays and script writing for you. One of the big reasons why it's trending as well is because it can help you navigate where you need to go on a daily basis. Like yes. You want to go to a restaurant nearby, maybe you have a certain coffee. type. Go ahead and ask it. Let's see. I just put in coffee and let's see. What, what would you like to know about coffee? Uh, local coffee shops. To do. Let's see what comes up with. And this is different than Siri, you know. It's yeah, Siri doesn't learn like this guy does. Yeah. This guy. Well, right, right <laughs> now. Oh, it could be anything. <laughs> right now, this thing is thinking and doesn't have an answer. Okay, There's premium an answer. coffee, Parista Cat Cafe, Dunkin', Starbucks. So those are the closest mm -hmm. ones in the area, apparently. I feel All like very I could close. have Googled that just as quickly. But I don't know. That's true. But you wouldn't have uh, maybe somebody helping you if you showed a picture saying, hey, Ethan, I like your suit today. You know? Yeah, it, it, maybe it he can give you outfit like recommendations, what kind of tie you should wear with your suit jacket. That's called having a mind of your own. <laughs> I, am, I am a Luddite. I am Against proud of Snapchat. it. You can see these stories on our website, erienewsnow.com. But let's welcome in a fellow, yes, a fellow Luddite of mine, John Stalin, who also <laughs> says text him or call him. For goodness sakes, none yeah. of this nonsense. John? Yeah, I mean, seriously, just text me. I mean, I don't know why I need a Snapchat, a WhatsApp, a, a Instagram, a Facebook. All you Just text me. If I like you enough, you have my number. <laughs> if not, email me, and I'll see if I'll get back to you.